back, everybody. Let me show y'all what's going on this morning. So, this is how I start my morning. No power. Goddamn squirrel. Don't eat that food yourself. And cause me to have no power. This is from about 7 o'clock this morning. It's about 10.45 right now. Uh, dang. Two hours. Shit, on. About three hours. No power could the car right now, man. You see? Like, you won't think you should have known better. Don't come call me power, dog. I don't know where I started. Four of them are dead. So, yeah, we got that power. Uh, so, here's what we got on today's agenda. Got the coupe up in the air. Gonna be doing that good old oil change with that Amzor. Make sure y'all hit up Pure Oil. Get you guys a box of that. Uh, if y'all remember the last video, your boy was scraping. Show y'all the underneath of this. <laughs> God. Let's see your focus. See, I'm all scraped up. But good looks to Dr. Scrape. Slippo Universal Skid Plate. Let me post up my camera mount so I can give you guys detail on what this is. All right, so basically this is a universal skid plate. You know, for the little boys. Look, I'm dumb, bro. I'm stabbing you, man. Basically what this is, is a 3M adhesive you know skid plate it has these cutouts so you can bend it to go around the bumper the lip whatever you want to attach it to basically you clean the surface off you basically peel back the 3 m and you know put it on how this would work is but this is clapped Basically, see how to, if your lip or your slitter, so you got that curve, this will basically catch it. Just basically curve with it. And you catch that edge. And because it has uh, cutouts, you can bend it. See right there? That's like a perfect curve. Right? So, what I'm gonna do is after the oil change, I'm gonna clean off all of this old glue. This trim right here is clapped. And I'm gonna clean off all of the stuff and I'm gonna basically apply this all over the front of the sweater. That's what I'm gonna do. Before I even started this, I went through all of the bolts, bro. Cause you gotta go through your bolts. Shit get loose. Vibration, these mounts. You feel me? But, I mean, I shouldn't have to tell y'all how to do an oil change, bro. I definitely shouldn't. Oh man. No. Pull that 17. I can smell the E already, bro. This is so kind of clean, though. Ah. And you make that thing drain.
me personally, I don't know if everybody else do this, but anytime I get a new filter, oh, y'all see the shirt. Make sure y'all support my homies, y'all. Uh, what I do is I take the new filter and I grab some of the oil I'm gonna use. This is just what I do. I don't know if other people do it, but this is what I do. And I pour some oil in there about halfway. Cause you know you gotta like tip it over, tighten it so you don't want to pour back out. Then I pour a little bit in the cap. Get my finger on it. Put it around the oil ring. Just like that. And make sure you guys double check the old filter and make sure it has the oil ring on there and you don't double oil ring it up. Cause that bit will leak. I personally wipe off all of the oil that drips off. I mean, you ain't got to. You know, it's your car, but I just do it. You know, especially around that oil filter area, as you pull it, you know, everything fall out. You see? You know, one good thing about these magnetic oil rings, I mean, oil plugs, is that you can check for any like shavings from the motor. And that's just all dirt on there. Magnetic oil ring picks up any metal deposits before it hit back the bearing or whatever. Good little investment. Let's see what this oil be about, ooh. All right, so on to the splitter skid plate. I'm gonna take this off around halfway and cut it right here. So I gave it a clean cut right there. The reason why is because this is the only extra piece I have, which isn't long enough. So, but it's long enough to go from there to here. So I'm gonna put this new piece on and then uh, clean off the underneath. All right, so the new trim, well, new half a trim is on. I mean, got a joint right there. Can't really tell, well, whatever. Uh, let's see. I mean, I really read instructions still, but thank you for that. Da, da, da. Recommended alcohol. This kit may contain applicate. Okay. 
towel, scissors, marker, measuring tape. I ain't doing none of that. You know how we do it, bro. We gonna send it. Do not wash the car for five p.m. Oh, uh, avoid placing on screws and bolts, top of vinyl. Keep our arms and get away from young, young pitting in them. All right, let's get to it. First piece, we'll go here because I don't sleep right here. No, just right here. I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow the trim, basically. So, oh, where the fuck? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm about to say, I want this, uh, I want a sponge. Oh. All right, so you open up the God, stink adhesive package. You got these little. I guess like alcohol pads or whatnot. Yeah, you just clean the surface on where everything is going to go. And then you grab the first piece. I don't think I need to cut it. To be honest, I think this is a perfect bend. So I'm gonna take off the tape. Touch the edge right there. Follow it along. Follow it along the edge of the trim. I'm just applying some pressure so all of the adhesive is on the splitter. I mean, but it's pretty sticky though. I'm gonna start on this side now. I already cleaned it, so. Same thing, pull off. Pull off a little red tape. And I'm just following the trim. So it's not hanging off the very edge of the splitter. It's like a little bit past it. I'll show you guys in a second. Strong stuff though. Alright, so let me flip this around. As you can tell, you see, like, and that's the trim right there, and then that's the slip off. Basically, all I did was follow the bend of the splitter. And I put it on right after the trim. So it's not like exactly on the edge. It's, it's like, like right there. I got them light on. Oh yeah. See that right there. So I'm going in time lapse the rest of this. I got all of it on. 
I'm just putting on two, two more extra pieces where I really scrape at, which is about right here. Because I'm walking along. And, and I'm gonna do the same for the other side. So you can tell I be scraping right here too. So the last two pieces I did use the whole box. What? Oh shit, that's like I'm see that right here. No, no, yeah, yeah. This is some really, look at this. This is some really strong adhesive. Like no lie, that bit is not coming off. So this is the finished product. You can't see it from the top. Just underneath where it needs to be. So I only use one box as you can see. I could have done it like this, like the whole thing, but I just put it on the spots that I rub on. Oh my God, that's so pretty. You did her hair? Oh. Yeah, so you can't wash the car in 48 hours. I mean, like, it can't get wet because it needs to, like, fully dry. But no, in Florida, psh, about four hours. <laughs> that bit hot. Anyways, I'm going to lower the car and uh, show you guys the new dash layout. Unfortunately, with the sun and the glare, it's kind of hard to see. But this is the new layout. That's the coupe on there. So, basically, uh, when VTEC kicks in, around like, I think it's like four grand, something like that. The coupe, the coupe. It'll light up, so I can catch I should just put it in simulation mode. So this is simulation mode. So when it's so when it's yellow, that means that I have a check engine light. See when VTEC comes on, it turns to the right color. And when the car is overheating. It turns red. So green, VTEC, yellow, check engine light, red, overheating. What, if I was at 400 something degrees, that motor would have shelled on through our tip. Slap that back on connections. That's a new dash. Uh, my fuel gauge took a shit. I'm doing some wiring and stuff in here. Uh, probably gonna back it out and uh, see how it rubs.
scraping? Because I sure didn't. I mean, like, I felt it, but I ain't hear it. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't scratching whatsoever, and I doubt I can get, get a, uh, picture of it or video of it right now since the car is so low so I can feel it. Yeah. That definitely worked. It's just dirt. So if you guys are interested in a skid plate, hit up Dr. Scrape. I'll leave his information down below. Slippo. Guys, copy your box of them. So that pretty much wraps it up for the day. We did the oil change. I'll do a review in a couple of weeks to see how the oil holds up to the 85. Uh, we installed the uh, Slippo skid plate. Uh, I'll leave all of the information where you can find these products down below in the description but else from that you guys stay safe have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time make sure you like and subscribe